All right, so for this video, I'll be going over time. More specifically, open, high, low, close, and open, low, high, close. I'll talk about a few other um, aspects of time that you could use, but um, open, high, low, close, and open, low, high, close are probably the main, the most important parts of time specifically, right? Not Cycles aren't really that important. So, before I get into the video, um, why is something? Like, if you have, if you guys have any questions, um, I'll be going over them in my next video. I have um, Discord tickets, as you can see here. You just ask. You go to this tickets channel for questions create a ticket and then you can send questions there and in the next video i'll be answering all of them so if you have any questions from this video just send the, join the discord and then send them in now which should be posted sometimes midtime this week but um that's if i have the time um but we'll just get into this video i don't really have notes for this because i want this video to be honestly under like 20 to 30 minutes um but i'll go over time and then a few chart examples and then twitter examples like always uh actually let me let me first start with this analogy by romeo right most of you have probably seen it but if not um so show you the importance of time right so let's say we have this price level right here we'll put it at exactly twenty thousand. okay we have this price level right um, let's say person number one, person one, buys here, right? Person one buys here at $20,000, but they end up losing and getting liquidated. But person number two buys here at $20,000, the exact same price level right but they make a ton of money right even though it's the same price level this person right here is buying at twenty thousand dollars right and this person right here is buying at twenty thousand dollars person one gets liquidated person two makes a ton of money right so the thing is price can be manipulated as much as it wants but time cannot okay if you submit to time and you only buy or sell or look for your entries when the time is right okay you'll be able to filter out a ton of trades right here so for this example they could both be they could both have the, a perfect setup right let's say this was a unicorn setup or something i mean what this one or let's say this was a turtle soup Okay, this kid buys here, and then let's just make this like here. This kid buys here at this turtle soup, right? Both of them are turtle soups. Both of them are at buying below and low at a key level, right? Both of these follow the same criteria, except for time, okay? This, say this is a manipulation time right here, right? We manipulate down into this low right here on this side, which would be perfect for buying. But this side, this may be a distribution, for example, right? So here we were in a distribution, anticipating a distribution. Here we're anticipating a manipulation, which is why this one works, right? And this one fails because of time, okay? Not because of price. The, same, the price level is the exact same. The only difference is the time. Right, price is the same, setup is the same, but time is different. So you have to be able to, able to identify this time, right? And you'll be able to filter a lot, out a lot, of, a lot of trades. Okay, so um, now that you know the importance of time, right? I'll go into the the divisions. Um, well, I might as well. If you you should watch Romeo's um, Secrets of Time course and his time level two course 
because a lot of this stuff, like 90% of what I know is from those videos anyway. So you might as well just watch it from him. But I don't know, maybe this video will help some of you. Um, but I'll, sp I'll only speak on what I personally trade. Um, because that's how it should be. But Romeo talks about a few other divisions at time, but I'll only go over open eye, low close for this one. Because uh, quarterly theory or time cycles would be another one, but I already have a video on that, so you could just watch that. Right, he says uh, he talks about four divisions at time, but I don't. I haven't even looked into the fourth one at all. Right, all three of these I've looked into and traded. It's just I don't really use some of them as much. Right, so the the most important one. And the one you should study the most, right? Because this is the markets. It's how the markets move. It is open high, low close, and open low, high close, right? And if you're trading turtle soup, which you likely are, I'll also go over open high, low close, turtle soup, and open low, turtle soup, high close. Right, but the main concept behind it is open, low, high, close, and open, high, low, close. Okay, the second one is quarterly theory or quarterly theory slash time cycles. Cycles. I personally don't use, uh, it that much but it still works because you just need to be able to identify a manipulation time right if you identify a manipulation time into a key level above a high right that would be a perfect turtle soup and the reason quarterly theory works is because of open high low close and open low high close and amd right which is the markets so in a sense, it does work, but it's not, like, actually the reason it moves. It's just, a, it's more of a simple way to, to view it. It's pretty good for beginners. Um, and the last one is if the data ranges. But I don't use if the data ranges because I never really trade on the higher time frame. But um, if you're going to learn, just learn from ICT. 20, 40, 60, look back. Um, however, I won't be going over quarterly theory or if the data range, if you want to learn about quarterly theory, then just uh, watch my YouTube video and day, trader day. All right. Um, once you learn the concept, then you'll have your manipulation time and once you have your manipulation time, then you align it with you align it with price. And then for if the data ranges, you should watch ICT. All right. But for this video, I'll be focusing on open, high, low, close, and open, high, low, close, and how to combine it more specifically with turtle soup because i think that's what most people are here for right but you don't need to you wait for confirmation um right as long as you're buying below an opening price uh buying above or below then you'll be good so um let me actually go over this note First, because I think it'll be easy to visualize. Right, the anatomy of a candlestick. Let me get all of these. These are from Romeo. Um, and this one's. I think I'll just go over these three. Should be pretty simple. Right. So as you know, 
every candle has an open, every candle has a high, every candle has a low, and every candle has a close, right? So if you have one higher time frame candle like this, this is what your candle will look like. Your open, your high, your low, and your close, okay? And on the lower time frame, it'll look like this, right? Your opening time, your opening price, your high, your low, your close, okay? And then this is the same thing for a, a bullish example, right? You should know this by already, but just in case you don't, right? I'm just going over it. All right, so this is a better visualization of how to apply time, okay? So here's your can your candle open and your opening price, right? Pretty straightforward. Here's your opening price, okay? You have to be able to identify your opening price. Um, your opening price, and you look to short above the opening price, price when bearish. And then you look to buy below the opening price when bullish. Look to buy below the opening price when bullish. Right, pretty simple concept. Okay. So, uh, in this example right here, right, you have your opening price of your candle. And your low okay so here you can see it's denoted here here's where you look for your pattern right your order blocks fvgs break your smts because at this point in time right when we're below this opening price okay this is when the time is right to buy okay so this is where you want to be looking for your turtle soups or your entries right for your order blocks fvgs breakers right you're trying to enter inside of this wick Okay, so this is what a normal candle looks like, and this is the bar candle. So you're opening, you're low, you're trying to bind this wick, right? And then catch the expansion of the candle and close. Okay, this, is, this should be pretty straightforward as well. Um, but this is, a, this is probably a better example. Okay, so here's, once again, um, these times aren't specific, they're just uh, for this, um, graphic right but here you have your opening time okay and then your opening price level your accumulation okay and then you look for your manipulation underneath the accumulation and the opening price and then your expansion right and then your close okay so below here the opening price when bullish, okay, anytime price is below here, that's when the time is right to buy, okay? So here, you look for your turtle soup in the low, right, in the wick of this expansion candle, right, to then catch this expansion, okay? So now, all that was honestly pretty straightforward, um, but how can you combine this with price? Um, where is this example at? Um, right here. Right. So if you, hopefully you've watched Romeo already. Um, and you know that three candles is all you need. Right. So right here, we have this, um, 9.30 candle, 9.30, 9.45, to 10 o'clock, and then the 10 a.m. to uh, 10.15, okay? You have this, these three candles right here. Okay, so on the higher time frame, it looks like this. I don't want to draw wicks. Our time frame. These three candles right here, it looks like this, right? 
and we have a one wick right here it's not really centered but right this right here is where you want to be positioning yourself in because this is where the time is right to look for cells okay so this will um if you only filter out your trades to buy uh how do i get this to buy or sell only in these wicks, right? Then you will be able to filter out a lot of trades, okay? Instead of trying to short here in the middle of these candles, right? You try to position yourself in this wick here, okay? So this would be your key level right here, right? You have candle one accumulation, okay? And then we have candle two, so open, opening time right here. Okay, 9.45, a 15 minute candle. So this would be your manipulation time then, okay? So if we have this accumulation, right? Our key level up here, these equal highs as well, right? Inside of bearish order flow, right? We're looking to sell in here. So say we're at this point right here, right we have a range ranging inside our manipulation time the second candle and our opening price okay opening price um, right so as you know you want to look for cells well, this is a bullish example, but you want to be positioning yourself in this wick here, okay? And looking for turtle soups, right? So we get a, a run into this high, okay? But why don't you sell here, right? It's manipulation time into the range high. It's simply because of this key level, right? Everything has to align in order to take a trade. Right. A lot of people would probably short off this because, oh, it's open, high, low, close. We have to dump after sleeping this high, right? No, it's because we, we haven't hit our key level yet, right? So if you combine ranges, key levels, order flow, right, and time, then all your trades should look pretty similar, okay? Um, so at this moment, we hit the high. And then we retrace a little a ton of people are probably going short here short here right but we haven't hit our key level yet right however we're still forming the wick here right on the higher time frame we're expecting an expansion down because the order flows bearish we have these long wicks failure swings right um higher time frame draws lower as well all these earlier swings as well right and then our key level above okay so everything price wise is aligning right and time wise it's aligning too because we're in this wick of this 15 minute candle right so this is the optimal place to look for sales since we're above this opening price okay this time window right this one specific window is where you should be looking for sales. If it goes past it, right, and we never hit your key level, then you don't take a trade, okay? You guys have to learn to be able to sit on your hands uh, and not take a trade if it doesn't align uh, with your checklist, right, or your rules, right? If you miss the trade, you miss the trade. You just, you study it, you go back, wonder, uh, note how you could, could have entered next time right but at least you didn't lose money okay so we're still looking for cells right at our key level which we hit right here and at this moment all right you can go for shorts because we're in our key level in the wick of this 15 minute candle 
right? Our accumulation, manipulation, anticipating a distribution, right? In bearish order flow, failure swings above this range high and above a lower time frame range high. Okay. So this is your lower time frame turtle soup. This would be your higher time frame turtle soup right here. Okay. So this is where you can enter cells because the time is right. Okay, we should be anticipating a low now. Right? We have our open, high, low, and close. So now, if you entered up here, right, then you would be good, right? Target, range, low, and other lows, right? But say you miss this candle, the manipulation candle, the middle candle, right? You can still enter uh, in this third candle because this should be a distribution candle now, right? If this was accumulation, this was manipulation, then this should be a distribution. Right, so we gotta retrace into this breaker FEG right here, and then we continue to sell off. Right here, we don't get a like we. I'm pretty sure we do on the lower time frame because it was ten o'clock, so it just oh it dumps instantly. Right, so this would technically be your wick up but no into this rejection block right here, right? You'd have your 10 o'clock open, high, low close, but I would never enter off of that because it's the 15 second, right? Um, but you shouldn't be anticipating, um, right? In this case, we had our opening price all the way up here at the turtle suit. Right, maybe if we had an opening price here, down here, then you can anticipate an open, high, low, close to continue, right? But in this case, we had our opening all the way up here, right? So you should anticipate a an expansion, right, to continue because of this breaker, right, and the logic behind it. If in order to do an open, high, low, close here, right, we would have to go back up to here to create the wick, right? But that wouldn't logically make sense because of this breaker, right? These breakers and FEGs. Okay, so this should hold price lower, right? And uh, Because we are in our distribution candle, we should distribute to these lows, right? We shouldn't be returning back up the year. Um, to to go higher to create an even higher high right we already created our wick here but in real time you like most likely wouldn't get a sell there so this third candle you could just look for continuations uh, to create the low and close right so it doesn't if you uh, if you aren't trading this soup then I honestly wouldn't even take this continuation because it it's not like a picture perfect open low or open high low close, but it's also not the best R in my opinion. Um, I would personally just miss out on the trade. So how much time? Twenty four minutes. I'll just go over Twitter examples now. Honestly, it's pretty. It's honestly, open, high, low, close is a pretty simple concept. It's just, uh, I think people overlook it or think it's not important, right? And then they just enter, enter on random pattern entries instead of waiting for time, okay? So in this example, right, we have a key level, which is a two-hour rejection block, I believe, and then a four-hour rejection block that we're inside of, okay? So we have a key level down here and then this 9 to 10 a.m. candle, okay? So if you picture it, here's the opening price right here, right? 
or below the opening price, this would be your open, low, right? You're looking for buys below this opening price, high, and then close up here, right? So at this moment would be the time is right to buy and it's aligning with price, right? Which makes a high probability. I'm not sure if there, uh, there's probably a five minute uh, candle as well in here that I didn't mark, but the higher time frame candle, this was mainly catching that one hour, the wick of the one hour candle, right? Let me paste it. Okay, so you look for your entries only in these wicks. Okay, if you miss, if we're above this opening price here, you never look for buys. Or I wouldn't say never, but if you want to catch higher IRs and filter out your trades, right? More high probability trades. I wouldn't, I wouldn't look for setups up here. Like you could have, you could have entered over here, right? But one, the RR wouldn't be that good. And like, it's honestly, I would just miss the trade as well. In my opinion, I would just miss the trade and then study how you could have entered down here, right? So we have our open, low, form another range here, and then turtle soup into our key level, um, and then expand up higher, right? So this one's not really that good of example because uh, it doesn't really show how to catch the lower time frame, this lower time frame soup in here. But if you look at it, if you look at it on the higher time frame, uh, it's pretty simple. Um, I'll go over this as well. This was a, a higher time frame example, right? So we have our range right here, range low, range high, key level, right? Inside of week two, right? So if this is a monthly candle right here, you have your accumulation, manipulation, distribution, distribution, right? Or you could have your accumulation, accumulation, manipulation, distribution, right? But the main presence behind this is accumulation, manipulation, distribution, or open, low, high, close, okay? So if this is your monthly candle, you look for your week two higher time frame key level to hit, and this would be your manipulation time, okay? So this is where you look for the high or low to be taken out of, right? The previous candle high or previous candle low. So if you had three candles, um, Right, your three candles. I'm not gonna draw wicks, but here would be your manipulation time, right? Your second candle. Um, and then here would be the first candle's low which would be your turtle soup, right? And then your distribution, accumulation, manipulation time, manipulation into the previous candles low, and then distribution, right? So when you're looking for soups, okay, you're looking for a higher low he actually draws a higher low before the manipulation time, right? To get soups. So say we have our accumulation, manipulation after manipulation time, distribution, right? I don't even know what happened, bro. But right, you look for these lows before these manipulation times to get turtle soups. Okay, so until this manipulation time happens, you're, you're sitting on your hands. Don't even try to enter here, okay? You're only looking to enter below these lows after the manipulation time to then catch the distribution, All right? This alone, by only entering in this little time window, okay, you should filter out a ton of your trades and your win rate should be a lot higher. 
Okay. So this would also be your accumulation, manipulation, distribution, or your open, low, high, close, right? It's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm not, it's kind of hard to like see, know what questions people would have, even though, because in my eyes, it's pretty basic, uh, which is why I suggest that it, uh, you join the Discord and you can ask questions, um, which I'll answer in my next video, right? So here we have the range low, range high, um, and then we take out the range low, have our order block, our key level right here, and then this is the, I believe the weekly candle, um, right? We have our weekly candle opening price right here, uh, the opening time of the weekly candle, right? Week two. Uh, I think, or no, this is the daily candle. Uh, pretty sure it's this, this daily candle right here, right? So higher time frame, we manipulate here, down in week two after manipulation time, into our lows before this week, right? Previous cycle lows, as you could say, right? Turtle soup here, and now we're looking for a continuation in week three. So this is the one candle that uh, I was looking at right here, I believe, right? So this is an open, this is another open low high close inside of this higher time frame uh, narrative, right? Higher time frame says we should go up to this range high now. So now all you're looking to do is buy in the wicks of these candles, right? So here you buy in this wick or you buy in this wick you buy in this wick, you buy in this wick, right? Until we hit this range high, okay? So if you understand the higher time frame drawn liquidity, right, and the higher time frame narrative, then when you're entering in the wicks, you just have to look to enter in the wicks of these candles up, okay? And then you catch the expansion. So here we sweep range low, order block, key level, open, low anticipating a high and then close okay which is what we get to the range high right pretty straightforward um this one was a very good example right have an feg here as our key level our one candle range every candle has a range right high time frame feg equals lower time frame turtle soup right here anticipating a continuation to the side, which is what we get. And right here, you can see, right, after you see the second candle print like this, we failed to close below, and turtle soup this low, this next candle, we're anticipating an expansion up, okay? So we're anticipating an open, low, high close. So here you have your opening time, right, of your hourly candle, your opening price, which would be right here. You're looking to buy now underneath here. Any time below here is when the time is right to buy. Okay, which is what I denote here. All right, you wanna position yourself in here, the green box, which is this wick. Okay, so here's your opening time, 9 a.m., your manipulation time, right? So if you had a vertical line here, you're looking for moves down to buy. Right, so we have this nice rejection block. We create our open, low buy inside of this rejection block, and then high and close. Right, so that was a another pretty simple example. Here, okay, here's a will probably be the most helpful example. Um, because this will. A lower time frame turtle soup with lower time frame time, which I think was what most people trade, right? So here we have a one 15 minute candle. Um, right here is our key level 15 minute rejection block, which is also a one minute order block right here, right? We have a range high, range low, and we have our manipulation time, 
right here, right? So we have our candle one, uh, 145 to two, right here. So this is a, your accumulation candle, right? And then candle two, right here, 2 p.m., which is where we're looking for buys below this opening price, right? So here's your opening price. Any time below here is when the time is right to buy, okay? So you're looking for entries in here, entries in here, until we hit our key level, right? Or open low turtle soup, okay? That's what this is, open, open low turtle soup here, right? Anticipating a high close, which is what we get here, right? And then your candle after, if you answer a continuation, 215 to 230, you have your opening here, right? This would also be an example of like um, it expanding right away to the range high, but we come down lower uh, and expand again. So this would still be an open low high close, right? It's just this is not as clean in my opinion, right? As is this here, right? This is like a textbook example. Okay, so since we're below here. Uh, this 15 minute candle. And then there's also, there was also a five minute candle in here, but I didn't write it down, but you can see 210 was around here, right? If you drag this out, it'd be open, low, high, close, right? So you're buying below opening prices, right? 15 minute candle, five minute candle. Anywhere below is when the time is right to buy, right? So the time to buy right here is right, key level at the range low, and then targeting a range high, right? American maker buy model, right? It all blends together, right? So this was a pretty clean example. Uh, uh, I'll go over this one. Yeah, I'll go over this one. This will be the last example, right? I feel like every single video, it's just so repetitive, but Hopefully it helps you guys, and uh, if you have questions, then just ask me, so then I can go over it. But it's, it's a pretty simple concept, in my opinion. Right, we have a range, 9 p.m., right, which is our four-hour candle open, our manipulation time, right, 159 for Forex, 2610 for futures, the four-hour candles, right, we have 5 p.m. around here, 5 to 9, our accumulation, right, this range. 9 p.m., opening price, right, 9 to 1, which is around here. Right, we get this rally up into the previous cycle's high, right, before this manipulation time, into our key level, right, when the time is right to sell because we're anticipating it open high low close right so we get our manipulation into our range high key level sell off right after 1 p.m right here and then third candle we get our continuation off this feg breaker right so entry one is turtle soup there's a lower time frame order block in here as entry two, all right? And then uh, order block or FEG. So this could be entry two. And then entry three would be breaker or OTE, which is what we have here, a breaker, all right? Me personally, I only throw off turtle soup and order block because I think it's the best. Well, it's the best there are and I would just miss the trade instead of taking the breaker, honestly, unless it's really close and I'm like super confident it's going to run far, then I'll enter off the breaker, but uh, not much, right? But we have our 9 p.m., right, our four-hour candle, our manipulation time. Uh, so this is the perfect place to look for sells above this opening price, Okay. So here, that everything aligns, right? Time, range, key level, order flow, right? 
that's uh, that's all I'll go over for today, honestly, because I think it's just super repetitive. Um, yeah, I don't really. There's not really not much to say about open high low close and open low high close because it's pretty straightforward in my opinion. But hopefully going over the Twitter examples helps because I, I, I doubt people would actually learn anything uh, anything new from this video. But hopefully the Twitter examples uh, cleared up some questions you may have. If not, join the Discord and ask them in there. But uh, that's basically it for the video.